I've got these. I don't think that's going to work. I'll call you back. We are talking Wolf Manor. This is a horror comedy directed by Dominic Brunt. Most people might know Brunt for his stint in the British soap opera Emmerdale, but he has actually now turned to behind the camera, though it does make a small cameo in this movie. So this is actually a 2022 uh, horror comedy that came out on the kind of the festival circuit in 2022, out for general release in early 2023. Now, this to me was remarkably similar to a 2018 movie called The Snarling, which I did review on the channel. Both movies uh, essentially are about a, uh, a group of low budget filmmakers making a kind of horror film in this kind of remote location with a problematic uh, kind of leading man and who are beset by problems primarily caused by a werewolf uh, killing off crew members and cast members alike. That is literally the kind of the setup for both films. Uh, no one has kind of seemed to have mentioned that from the reviews that I have seen, but there you go. <clears throat> so Wolf Manor, uh, what do we think? So this is very similar setup to this Narling. There are a few differences, I would say. Um, the, 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 the movie Wolf Manor, I would say, is more of an even split between kind of horror and comedy, whilst the Snarling definitely skewed to a more kind of com comedic kind of sensibilities. Um, whilst this one, I would say, kind of does it on equal kind of measure. We also see a lot more of the kind of the werewolf in this movie as well. And it also doesn't involve quite as many people, like the townsfolk, the police and things. That It is really just relegated to this kind of film crew. So what do I think that works in this movie? So uh, the setup is quite a fun one, regardless if it is very, very similar to the aforementioned snarling movie. And I've got to say the movie kind of starts off pretty strong with some kind of fun atmospheric nods, especially to American Werewolf in London. Uh, but there's obviously a, a few kind of nods to uh, uh, general horror kind of lore and werewolf lore as the kind of the film progresses. Of course, we get the kind of uh, the slaughtered, um, the slaughtered lamb kind of style pub at the beginning. But there's great kind of like uh, atmosphere building here. You know, the kind of the full moon, the misty kind of like uh, forestry areas, things like this. Uh, the kind of the weird kind of locals who seem to kind of know what's kind of going on. I thought this setup here was was very very strong, and I've got to say I think the cast do a pretty good job here of making, <clears throat> you know, somewhat kind of believable characters in a kind of a horror comedy setting. It's always a little bit of a tricky task I think because you never quite know how to, you know, how far you want the comedy to go. Do you, do you veer too much into kind of spoof territory? And therefore you can't, can't kind of relate to the characters, but at the same time you still want to kind of have a few kind of like gags and laughs in there as well. So I think it kind of straddles a, a movie where you can still get invested in the characters, but they're slightly kind of more uh, exaggerated than kind of maybe just real people if this were a straight kind of dramatic uh, kind of horror comedy. This movie actually is also far more gory than The Snarling. This actually has quite a lot of kind of practical effects and is more gory and you will see a lot more of the werewolf. Uh, I actually quite like the werewolf design here, I have to say. Um, it kind of, it's, it, it's a cross between the traditional kind of like universal monsters kind of wolfman, but with kind of more of a, a, an aesthetic, uh, a kind of modern aesthetic, more of a kind of a beastly look. If anything, it reminds me the most of the Michael Jackson thriller uh, kind of werewolf. But I kind of liked it. I thought, I thought he was kind of an, an interesting and kind of quite memorable design. I mean, there are some kind of like uh, some bloody kills here and some kind of quite fun kind of set pieces as well. Um, the, the, the cast of characters, I think, are kind of, you know, they're somewhat memorable. We have a, obviously, this crew and the, the cast, and we have the kind of, like they say, the, the diva-like kind of, like, a main kind of star, for example, who is this, uh, you know, thespian who is all about the kind of the art and things like that. The director, the producer, the kind of, like, the, the DP, all are kind of quite well kind of, like, characterised. I think the actors do a, a good job here of balancing that kind of, like, that horror comedy element to it. So it doesn't work with this movie. 
I found this movie strangely low energy, is the best way I could describe it. Uh, there's just a lot of seemingly kind of standing around in this film. And even when we have like a, a scene of horror, it's punctuated by a lot of procrastination, for example. Um, you know, the, 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 the film, you can argue the film's pacing is a little off. But there are things that happen, it just seems the reactions of the kind of the characters within this movie seems very subdued, especially the fact that this is actually kind of a, a horror mo horror comedy movie. Um, you know, the, the kind of like the reactions all seem very kind of muted. For example, where we, we come across our first, you know, our characters come across our first mutilated body, realizing obviously something's wrong. None of them seem to be that distraught about it. None of them seem to kind of really react that, that kind of badly to it. They all seem very kind of like, sort of somewhat kind of matter of fact about it. Even, but there's sequences as well where we just see kind of characters just seemingly standing around. And there's certain sequences like a dream sequence, for example, which is just too long and it just it kind of out, outstays its kind of welcome. So I found the kind of this, this movie's pacing to be a little bit uh, on the kind of like the, the slower side, even though the kind of, the, I, I don't think necessarily the, the plot points in the movie aren't necessarily, so it kind of plays out very much like how you think it would, but it's just those things within the movie just seem to be very low energy and not particularly kind of like massively kind of engaging. Uh, you do see a lot of the werewolf, I have to say, but sometimes I think the kind of the, the, the point of fact where it's playing for, for, for laughs more kind of sometimes undercuts the kind of the more horror elements of it. So this movie never really, even though it is fairly gory, it's never really a particularly kind of scary film. And this is always the trade-off between horror and comedy. I think you sacrifice some of the scarier elements in favour of having kind of like goofy humour where, for example, someone's like beating, you know, the, the werewolf with like a stick and it's just kind of like non-reacting and things like this. So, you know, it's not a particularly kind of scary movie in any way, even though I think the, the werewolf does look kind of ferocious and does look, you know, it does have some kind of gory kills and things like that. But there are times as well where I think the, even though I really quite enjoyed the, the, uh, the practical suit here, you know, the, it maybe focus and kind of the camera lingers on the wealth a little bit too long, a little bit too much in the kind of light, so you can kind of like the illusion that it's just not a man in a suit is somewhat evaporated as the kind of the film kind of goes on. Um, the the movie seems a little bit kind of like um, small in scale in, in, in some instances as well. Um, you know, I feel like the world that this movie inhabits, even though there is quite an extended uh, post credits here that kind of fills in some kind of backstory. The fact that the kind of the locals are all seemingly kind of like aware. I, I feel like you needed to have a little bit more fleshed out by the kind of the introduction of some uh, police turning up and things like this. Maybe kind of like a throw a few elements in there. It doesn't really get, it feels a little bit too truncated into the kind of the people that we've kind of got here. And I have to say as well, again, you know, I prefix this by saying this is a horror comedy. We get these kind of character turns by certain characters trying to kind of look after their own self-interests. And you kind of see these, um, these selfish acts performed by the characters to either save their own skin or to try and kind of like save the film. And I don't know, it doesn't see, it seems kind of like a little bit of a character turn to some degrees uh, that, that wasn't really kind of built up. If that makes sense. So people have these kind of turns to the kind of like the, the dark side, so to speak. And to me, it wasn't seen well enough, uh, if that makes sense. Overall, you know, I think this is a, a fun, enjoyable movie. It's just a little bit, maybe not as kind of gripping as I would have liked. A little bit kind of, um, it, could, it could have had a bit more ferocity in it. It could have been a bit more visceral or, or kind of, they, they could have like, maybe kind of like, you know, had the, the comedy played up even more. At the moment, it sits in this kind of weird middle ground where I feel it's not particularly kind of funny, not particularly kind of like uh, scary or anything like that. So it, it's kind of like amusing and, you know, it's 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 okay, it does a job. You can, you, it's, it's serviceable as in regards to a horror film, but it never really excels in any kind of one uh, particular kind of way. It is, I think, effects-wise and, and in the technical ability, it's probably above the snarling. But for the, the story as a whole, the comedy, the snarling, to me, was a better film. But this isn't certainly a bad film. I think it's certainly watchable. It's an enjoyable movie. 
I don't think it's particularly memorable, however. I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.